I don't have the time, money, or equipment to test all the golf balls for which are the best in terms of distance for each swing speed, but my golf spy does. We tested 37 balls, over 60 hours, and over 4,500 shots. I am a huge fan of Adam and the My Golf Spy team and the way that they research and put information together and present it to the golfing public on the best golf balls and equipment and just ongoing testing year over year to test for best performance as well as quality. And I think that comes into play with golf balls. Um, as you see, uh, social media, Instagram, you see these putting you know, uh, experiments where you roll three balls from the same place, two of them make it and then the last one doesn't. So the quality of ball and consistency of manufacturing, um, as well as your distance off the tee um, and with your woods really makes a difference. And, and the time and effort that they put in to give the golfers out there the best advantage um, and, and just kind of take the equipment part out of the equation out of the game and put it all on you and your skill and ability to get the ball in the hole. I think it's admirable. They've been at it for a while. I go back to my uh, fitting video that I posted last year and just the response and just the, the way, that, again, the way that they present information is amazing. Depending on what ball you're either playing or you aren't playing, golfers are giving up a lot of distance off the tee. And we know it because in our testing, we found up to 31.8 yards difference from longest to shortest. That's a big deal. As I go through the top 15 balls, uh, top five for each swing speed, high, mid, and low, um, you'll see a common name pop up. Six of the 15 entries on this list from my golf spy after all that testing was a Titleist golf ball. And I don't think there's any surprise there in terms of the quality that they provide. Um, my golf spy and, and quite a few other uh, YouTubes have been able to tour the Titleist facility and see their ball ma making uh, process and, and their quality control around that. And I think when, you, when people have done individual testing in whatever way that they have done that, you have seen different results that point to Titleist being one of the more consistent balls out there. And so, um, I mean, for bang for your buck, when you're playing golf, you want you to be the determiner of, you know, your, your score and how good or bad you are, not necessarily a bad ball um, that's, that's misaligned, unbalanced, or just, you know, doesn't, doesn't ha hold up to uh, the wear and tear of a golf round. So, Titleist, no surprise that they're number one. I will say that Titleist is noticeably absent from the mid-swing speed category where the bulk of golfers, and yes, n most of us are not 105 miles per hour with the driver or more. Most of us fall within that sub 105 to 90 miles per hour category. And that's not to say that there aren't Titleist golf balls that fit the mid swing, um, but they don't necessarily perform as well as their high end and low uh, swing speed uh, golfer golf balls. So it's very interesting, um, just something to, to note, but one of my favorite balls does fall into that mid swing speed category. My current ball of choice is Vice Golf. This is not a sponsored video by Vice, but Vice, I'm open for that opportunity. So get at me, jump in my inbox, holler at me. I'm a supporter, I'm a fan. And it's a funny story how I've come to this ball. I would find them on the course uh, left by somebody in the woods and put it in play, um, which Adam definitely does not recommend. Play the same ball. If you play a TaylorMade TP5, always play the TaylorMade TP5. But I would find myself playing quite well with these balls and saying, you know what, maybe I need to give it a try. And so a few months ago, I did make the switch and ended up buying a dozen off of Amazon. And I've been sticking with it since. So the ball that I ended up playing very well with was the Vice Pro Plus. And, you know, going to Adam and my Golf Spies video, I think that I've been playing the wrong ball, although it has been performing for me. When you look at these golf ball tests, they're primarily playing them with woods. Um, when I put different balls in play off of my irons, I get pretty consistent distance no matter the ball. Um, if I play my eight iron somewhere between eight, uh, 150 and 155, that typically comes across no matter what ball I'm playing. The woods 
off my driver three wood hybrid that's where I see the biggest difference. Um, and so I will be going with the Vice Pro going forward, which that falls within my range, 95 miles an hour to 110. The Vice Pro Plus is um, set up for your 110 and up uh, swing speeds, according to the website. And I can see that where I'm losing some distance off the tee, but it still performs very well. I know that if I put a good swing on it, it's going to go where I want the ball to go. Um, maybe not quite as far consistently. I do have some that really get out there with the Pro Plus. Almost every golfer knows that getting fit for golf clubs can make a dramatic difference. It can help lower your score. Everybody knows that. But after today's results, what we want you to know is golf ball fitting can be as or more important. 30 plus yards potentially are being left on the table by you not going into a store and getting fit for a golf ball. So big question, why haven't you been fit for a golf ball? So when it comes to golf, I'm willing to spend money no matter what it is, whether it be a course, golf ball, equipment. But, you know, when you can save money and still play a quality ball, I think that's an amazing opportunity. Um, and I know there are several, you know, direct to consumer brands that are out there currently um, Vice being at the top of my list, Piper, Sugar, um, the list goes on and on and with different, you know, results. But I think the one that showed up on the list here, you know, with with my golf spy was Vice twice uh, coming in onto the list. And so I think that's that's really important and a signal to what they're putting out. And I think for the consumer, again, if you can save some money on golf, why not do it and you're not sacrificing any of the quality um, but i would say you know this has given me a different perception on golf ball fitting which my golf spot tends to do that i really again appreciate how they open up our minds as golfers to look at the game a different way and get better at golf and so if if the ball that you're playing is on the list are you a mismatch um, do you know your swing speed? Do you know how fast you swing your driver to be able to match yourself up with the proper ball? I think it's worth exploring. Um, take a look at the list. Um, go to your local fitter. Um, I believe in the video that, that Adam has some suggestions of where you can go for a golf ball fitting. So I have that link down below. Go ahead and check the full video out over there. Um, but just something to think about. It, what ball do you play down uh, in the comment section? Let me know. I'm curious if you've been fit for a golf ball and what was that process like? I think I'm going to go do it. Um, but curious what you guys are thinking out there. We'll catch you on the next one.